Hello, two potatoes. Can cabbage coming at you once again for another episode number three of Force of Nature. We had gained up through level five in the last episode. In this episode, we will work on the three new quests it gave us to place our well, uh, place our growing plots, and uh, actually to get an egg. Thankfully, I trained that chicken. It was just kind of dumb luck that he was right where he needed to be. <laughs> uh, and then we need to create the cooking table so we can follow through to craft an egg and make some bread which is made from wheat. So, it is dark as you can see, but I will start harvesting in the background, and I will be harvesting, and have already, in fact, harvested some of. We know we're going to need 100 planks, 30 for the well, 30 for the table, and 10 for each of four growing plots. So we'll get those launched because that will take a little while. Don't know if we can get up uh, to a hundred in one build or not. They do limit. Yeah, 99 is the maximum. Ah, but we have one, so that works out perfect, doesn't it? <laughs> 60 dirt will be required. Four times quantity of 15. And now that the coal is completed, let's take the other 35 of those up. Let's say I crafted one copper ingot uh, from the copper coins. I only have enough for seven ingots uh, of iron. Should take some glowing embers as well. Got quite a few of those crafting in the background because we'll use them. For the blast furnace, we will create all seven ingots that we can craft, and that will be exactly enough to craft uh, the two buildings we need. And then for the anvil, we know we need three stacks of nails, and then we have one ingot for now. We use the copper ingot first, make sure that that goes towards nails because the iron ingots, there will be five that we will require for the crafting table. Now, I had all the resources going. I think I flipped when I should have flopped as far as uh, recording, but I placed these down just now, the well, uh, and four growing plots, which I believe is the maximum we can do for our current level. Well, still maybe it'll allow us more. I'm not sure. Craft more of those if we can. Uh, but the next item we need to craft is the cooking table, which we will need some jugs. Everything else we need, I think. Yes, we do. Uh, so jugs we need to craft on the fire. We still have eight logs to go, so... We'll wait for those to complete. Well, the last of the glowing embers is about done, so then we will be able to begin our jugs. Uh, we needed five of those to craft the cooking table. Chicken also I ran out and collected. He was running about. I uh, told him to follow me, because now we can begin to feed him. It requires two seeds and one water. Now that we have the well, uh, we can go over and, and collect water from here. There we go. This is done. So, jugs, we need four clay. Okay, well, we needed five, so we need 20 clay. Very well. Take out our shovel. 
digging stick, I guess they call it. And 20 away. Okay, well, 40 clay done. 20 clay, rather, which is what I need to craft five jugs. Two, three, four, five. And they're off. Come back when they're done, and then we'll be ready to build. Meanwhile, the first egg is done. Feed it again. And they do stack here until we take them. Uh, you only get one at a time, so you can effectively have one chicken carry around uh, a couple dozen eggs, actually. <laughs> okay, standing here waiting. Also occurs to me that we needed to grow wheat, don't, don't we? Uh, still have eight water on me, so now in the seed bed, if we click on that, we can select plant. And it will allow us to plant a number of things. Uh, right now we have wheat seeds, so we will grow that. But strawberry and coffee branches we also have seen. Uh, so we want to be growing some of them early on as well. Or the coffee, that is, because that's what makes the coffee beverage, which gives us energy. Plant four of these out. And we can get that production going as well. Other egg. Yay! <laughs> okay, and as that was done, I was about to fade out, but our jug's done. So now chickens in the way, I think, but uh, that's where we want to place uh, our cooking table. Now we have everything to build it? Yes, we do. We'll put that up against uh, the plots that it's growing so we can turn around and grab it from right there. Okay, let that go. And chicken, need another egg. Let's make another egg. See, we have three now. So we've got that part of the quest done as well. I'll pick those up now because I know I'm going to be growing some eggs uh, as part of the quest also. Make one fried egg and one bread. So we need to make flour. I will need to get the wheat. I shall do that. Okay, now back to base. We back, we've got 27 on us. We'll harvest these. Pressing the left alt key will harvest everything in the area. One click, uh, or one key press, I suppose, to harvest it and then. The control picks everything up. Plant again. We have two water. I need more water. Okay. What I should be doing in between is running out and chopping wood or something of that nature. Uh, full stamina. Can't have that. And meanwhile, the cooking table has completed. And what can we make so far? Okay, fried egg, we know we need to make one. We need a clay pan or iron pan. Okay. So for the clay pan, we need 10 clay. Go figure. Okay, getting back to our base after overnight, just picking some sunflower uh, 
feed our chicken again, who's been following us around aimlessly. Cycle the harvest, which will give us both more seeds as well as the grain. water. <laughs> We're good. And now on to cooking in an egg since we have a few of those done. Now we should have the clay. Can we make the clay pan? No, because we needed the pottery things, I think. Of the clay, so we'll make the clay pan. That's what it was. <laughs> so now we've created the pan. It's in process, so we can cook our egg. Okay, well, we started to cook the pan so we can make the egg for the quest. And I believe we'll need that for the bread as well. You should check that. Quickly, let's see. To make bread, it's a flour and a clay pan. Yeah, okay. So flour. I need the mortar as well, apparently. So I will create that. Of course, I'm going to need more clay. I can see that coming. Sure enough, go get more clay. Okay, back at camp. Now we've got the clay. So we can make the mortar that we require for the bread. There we go, and it's off. Okay, mortar is now done. So we can put mortar in there and the pan and the cooking table as well. Now we can craft fried egg because we know we have eggs. And then the bread we need to create flour. Okay, the egg is now complete. Now we will need to make bread, which I believe we need flour. Okay, and the two flour is now done. Is that going to be everything? It is. Now we can create our piece of bread. Okay. And that completed the quest and created a new quest now that we have the bread created. Next is raise a new level. Very nice. So let's see what we need to upgrade. 
You will need 10 gold coins, 5 flour, 5 water. Okay, well that's not so bad. Gold coins, we have some. We have 6. So I will need to go out and kill uh, 4 gold coins worth of goblins. That's easy. And that shall proceed. Okay, and with the cooking table, we can craft butter from seeds with the sunflowers to get us butter. And then the butter, in turn, is used up here to craft the table lamps. And the other part, of course, of the table lamps is clay. Uh, requires five clay per lamp as well. So it's basically one butter, five clay, and I think three of the glowing embers. So small sticks, because that's what it requires to make those. So. <laughs> Okay, there we go. The last round was complete. Just open this up. So there's the recipe actually for the table lamps. Create a bunch of them because uh, we will start illuminating our road. Okay, there's 50 more table lamps. Have actually started placing uh, from the first wave. Just placing them uh, basically in a straight up, straight line uh, with the grid directly north, we'll call it. <laughs> that was heading towards what appears to be uh, some stone on the map. We'll hope that is the case. Clearing straight up north, there are starting to work some openings into the other sections of the map where there are still some additional goblins as well. Uh, also, I've begun to get into the apples, so we'll so get more of them, which are split health and stamina food. And on through more apple trees. Uh, as well as sunflowers. We will have quite a few additional seeds and create more lamps, which we are continuing to do. Okay, welcome back. Uh, I've already did, done about half of episode four's recording. Uh, however, at this point, I did realize uh, that episode two Actually, uh, I managed to blow up. I'm not sure exactly how it happened, but uh, I only got the first half of the video on YouTube. Uh, I would very much like to update it. Uh, however, the footage for the second half of the episode, which was roughly uh, 45 minutes of video that I compiled down into an additional 10 or 15 minutes uh, post-edit, uh, that second half uh, is no longer available uh, because it does take a couple hundred gigabytes, lots of space on the drive. When I thought I was done, I deleted it so I can continue working on this episode. So I do apologize for uh, that error. That's why we left it hanging kind of in the middle of the video because quite literally it was. So that long-winded uh, explanation, uh, you can see too that... Uh, I had completed uh, level five, which is more or less what I had anticipated doing for that episode, uh, as well as placing the cooking table down uh, and the well uh, and the first four of the growing plots. I don't recall precisely uh, how much of that had transpired in the last episode. So with that, uh, we'll get back to the process uh, of working on level five. Uh, which I believe is what I had said a moment ago. Uh, again, this was yesterday's video. I'm going from memory now because <laughs> it's not posted. Uh, but the next task will be to get the new level, level six, uh, which we do will do in this episode. Over here in the characteristics, we can see that what we need for resources collected 
uh, will be 10 gold coin, uh, 5 flour, and 5 water, uh, all of which I have available. Uh, so I will collect those from the piles uh, that are on the ground and will bring you back to proceed with that level uh, in just a moment. Okay, and we picked up the resources uh, from where they were lying about the ground. Uh, so let us go ahead and advance our level to level six. Next level. Get level. And there we go. Now we're on, we're now level six. Should give us some additional things to craft. Uh, recipes, uh, as well as weapons and the like. Uh, notice also, uh, I have been doing a lot of clear, harvesting resources, clearing out in the background. You can see we have our map all the way up here, uh, or the road, I should say, uh, and we have cleared out pretty much this entire area. Uh, this is a continuing game, actually, so there are still no spawns. Uh, of goblins there because I have been clearing them or killing them off as I've been clearing the area. So we'll continue with that process. Let's take a look in the craft. Okay. Nothing additional there. Although I think the stone arrows are new, uh, which will be one of the quests. And then for the building menu. Let's see what else. Looks like we can create a second well now, uh, as well as additional seed beds. A cooking table we have already, but we can now also place uh, the straw bed uh, along with the dugout. The straw bed only will fit inside the dugout, so I will make that fairly early on. Uh, and then we're to the point where we can now create the portals as well, which I believe is going to be one of the quests. See, we support of nature. So yeah, we'll make the compass as well for that quest. I didn't notice that in there. I think that is actually in the workbench, perhaps. Can't recall exactly where. And yeah, there it is. Uh, so that will require us to get the ingots. Uh, I still have not found many ingots. Uh, the tin. Tin I have not found at all yet. Uh, glass we can get from sand, gold and copper I can make uh, from the coins. So really I need to find tin. But, um, oddly enough, it's both of the ore resources which were right around this area, uh, as you may see on a previous map if I had it open, but uh, those are entirely stone. There was no ore on either of those, so I do need to continue uh, searching for additional metal before I can progress. So I will continue to do that, uh, and we will bring you back in game uh, once I'm to the point where we can get up uh, for the next section towards level. We'll at least knock a quest or two out. Whether we attain the level this episode or not will remain to be seen. Welcome back. Well, I progressed a little further. Uh, put some marker lights out and things I know will be built. Uh, also have switched the growth of the plots in this rainy day uh, to coffee because with coffee we can create uh, this stamina beverage which is very beneficial for clearing out large areas as I do. Uh, I'm still working on some of the tree bunches here but gradually working north uh, in order to get up to our metals. Uh, which presumably out of range. Hopefully that's the right direction. We don't know. But bringing you in now because uh, along with the coffee we'd started, uh, we also have the resources to work on the next quest to make a straw bed. In order to do that, we will first need to craft with the building menu uh, the dugout. And I have acquired the resources down along the bottom here, so I can do that right away. OK. 
Okay, we'll put that up. Let's see, we'll leave for about three spaces there. And we'll line it up with the well. And we want the door forward. I think we want the door facing this way, don't we? So if I rotate in place again, uh, the door will always be facing towards us. Okay. And now we can rotate camera, I think, and uh, it won't rotate the building any longer, right? So now we can get it into... We'll do four wide, because that's... no, oh, five. We'll do five out. That's the distance in between the other buildings. So, and wind up with that. We'll bring it down. Maybe to there. And now it's building. We'll speed quickly through this. Okay, and now that that is completed, we can enter the building. And here we will place the straw bed, which should complete that quest. Oops. And yeah, sure, we'll put it off to the side. I think we can still walk in. So now that's going, and we will speed through this as well. Okay, and we'll bring back a little sooner, huh? Because as this completes, it should disappear off the left-hand side. And that make a straw bed is now in the completed quest. The only other I will most likely target for this episode uh, is to make a bow and arrow that will allow me to attack range. Uh, that will go in this number five hotkey slot. Uh, but in order to make the arrows, I know I will need feathers. And feathers will come from roosters. So I think I will build a quick pen. I think it will fit right in here. Should have enough copper to make the ingots uh, and plenty of lumber. So I will assemble that and then run out and see if I can tame a rooster. Okay, well, we have enough planks and nails to make several sections uh, of the small fence. So we will do that quickly uh, so we have a place to keep our uh, caught fowl. Okay. Actually, we're going to do this in line with the lights. So we know they're a nice grid the way I have them placed. Okay, decorations. Do a four by one wall. Okay, and let's see. We're going to make it two by two for the chicken pens. So we'll put them pretty much in line. We can put the lights in line on the, on the back as well, because I'll light them there. Because that's going to be going right there. It's actually lining it up with my eye as to where it, where it would fall in place in the others. That's going to be a fence. And that's going to be a wall. Okay, we'll go back in and build the gate so we can get in and out, also four by one. And now for the length walls, we'll put in Two on this side. Uh, 
actually, I think I want to do this in this direction first. That way we can line it up to get it just one outside the gate. So put two walls here. And this will end up being a 3x3 three three wall for the larger pen where I will be putting uh, some cows or sheep. Okay. So now that direction will have two that are too deep. I could do it one more. Hmm. Depends upon where I put the other wall. When I do that, I'll put it one length longer so it's eight up. And then we'll put two more walls on this side, and that will enclose our pen. Oops. Decorations. Four by one. One, two. Okay. So now that will be an enclosed space. We can open the gate. Somewhere I remember seeing that chicken wandering about. This is what I'm looking for right now. We'll put the, there it is. Put the chicken inside now. Tell him to follow me. I'll take the eggs. He's been growing for me. As he walks by, I'll feed him sometimes. <laughs> And once he steps inside, I will close the gate, and now he's in there. Tell him to wait here as well so he's not trying to chase me out the door. But, uh, there we go. Pence thin fence, or chicken. Okay, welcome back. Day is up. Today we'll, I've collected the resources to place the second well uh, and the next four growing plots. Uh, so harvest the coffee that's there. That is the plant that I will continue to grow, but we should now be able to double production of that. Uh, so it's kind of a side, side project uh, as I was realizing that I use some of the uh, the nails and planks for this project to build the coop for the uh, chicken and the rooster so 
any rate, get into our building menu. And the well. Oops. I know I got those done. Yes, I do. Ropes is the last component. Okay, now back into the building menu for the well. Second well right here. And then the building menu again for the seed beds. Growing plots is what I was calling them, but these are what I was referring to. One, two, three, four. So now those are done, or when those are done. Uh, so we'll fast forward to that. We can then plant eight uh, rows of coffee per turn. A growth cycle, I suppose, because they take a certain amount of time. The more advanced the plant, the longer they go. Uh, as well, so coffee and wheat are the two that I grow most of the time, and those are both fairly quick. So, okay. there's the seed beds done. We start just by grabbing the water. Now we'll have two well fulls of water which will give us a total of 10, and with eight plants, we'll end up with two spare water uh, per round, which we can then use to feed the animals. Resources, oh yeah. Need to get coffee seeds as well, which I do have over here. Plant those up. Now we can get eight going. Meanwhile, the well is done, uh, so that will start producing water uh, just as the first one did. So it does. Okay, now with that sidetracking out of the way, uh, clean up the rest of these resources and we'll head out and see if we can clear away. I had forgotten that we need to get feathers, so we'll need to catch a rooster. So we'll see how this goes. Got him in a little corner. If we can manage to net him. Uh, I don't know if we can do it in the water anyway. He is underwater. Yeah. Come on. Getting right in line. There we go. Tame. All right. Got him. Follow me, rooster. Okay, here we are back at our pen. Uh, had a little escapade with a fox attacking my pig. I'm not sure if I'll leave that in or not. <laughs> it was slightly indirect route here. Uh, but now we have the rooster in here. Close the gate. And feeding him. I also picked up uh, my wheat seeds as well. Uh, so you can tell him to wait here and feed. And we don't have the right resource. Oh, we don't have water with us. Ha! I'll come back in a second. Being attacked by something else. Now we're being attacked by. I wonder if that's the same fox or not. Where's he coming from? And yeah, it is, because he was still injured. So I'll have to track him down and kill him. Pesty thing. <laughs> You can see I haven't finished clearing the local area out. That's perhaps where he's coming from. And back at the pen again, though. Uh, now we have water. So we can feed. And that will give us five feathers. We need uh, 20 arrows for the quest, I believe it is. Uh, 
and they're four at five each. So we'll need to get 20 feathers when that is complete. Now uh, we can start uh, to create the bow. I think I have, do I need a crude bow and stone arrows, crude bow? I think I have the resources with, and we'll check briefly to see if we need anything else. Uh, worst case, though, I can collect that in between while we're growing the feathers. Open sticks. So, yes, we have that. Okay, I think we have everything we need for the bow as well as for the arrows. Uh, once we collect the feathers, I'm going to go grab the eggs over here as well. And now back in the crafting table, you should be able to select the recipe for the crude bow. We need, oh, 10 ropes, right. Those I have crafted already. Uh, they're in the uh, craft basic craft menu. Okay. Now we can select the crude bow and start that in process. Meanwhile, the bow is now complete. Gosh, you didn't even need to make that hammer, but it's okay, I can have it carrying around in my backpack because we can already place the uh, hammer, as you can see, in the crafting station. So we can make the stone arrow two, three, four for a quantity of 20, and just do it right in here. And this should wrap up this quest for craft the bow and arrow. Uh, and then that uh, will leave us down to two, just a portal, uh, and to find the force of nature. Uh, that one is a longer quest. That will certainly be the next episode. Uh, and the portal as well. Uh, we'll get started on that in the beginning of the episode. Simply wait for these to finish crafting, and then we will have this done. Ten more. Okay, and that's done. Not sure why I was babbling earlier. Heard me, I could just speed through this and be a lot quicker uh, from the viewer standpoint. But we all know I goof things up periodically. But that's okay. The world's all wrong. It's just a matter of perspective. Thanks for watching. And take care.